What do you do with this? What? Look at that. Jams. Boom. Shoots nothing. mag you pick up another right and you pick up another you're just supposed to keep going on right and you drop it like that you drop the gun pick up another gun and what, what do you do what do you do what do you do, what do, you do? this is what you do boom Again, this half hour with the frightening video inside a downtown hotel room and the East County man now in jail because of it. This is just astounding. Members of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force arrested the suspect yesterday. The big question right now, was this a prelude to a domestic terrorist attack right here in our own city? It's the question now at the heart of a fast-moving investigation. It's also a story NBC7 investigates just uncovered today. Stephen Luke reports from downtown. Some of the critical evidence already collected in this case comes from inside the Sophia Hotel behind me. It sits here in the heart of downtown San Diego, just across the street from the federal building. Look at that. Jams. Boom. Shoots nothing. Ah, yes. This video posted to YouTube in September shows a man walking room to room, talking to himself while picking up multiple guns, including assault weapons later identified as illegal in California, and then pulling the trigger on empty chambers. The bizarre sequence, including shots of a mannequin head on a couch, a bottle of liquor in his hand, and ammunition scattered all over the floor. According to a search warrant uncovered by NBC7 Investigates, the suspect is 30-year-old Steve Homoki of Spring Valley, who booked a room at the hotel for one night back in March. One of the lead investigators calling it a rehearsal of a mass shooting attack. We showed the video to Homoki's neighbors. Crazy. Good thing they got him. Neighbors say dozens of officers surrounded this house Thursday and confiscated gun after gun from inside. It was like a carnival here with police, M most of them plain clothes. According to the search warrant, Homoki has 14 firearms, all purchased between February of last year and May of this year. Investigators also went in for computers, phones and documents, part of the effort to understand exactly who they're dealing with. But police say none of this would have happened if not for an anonymous online tip. Someone who knew Homoki through an online social media platform for video gamers contacted the FBI National Threat Operations Center this past weekend. The tip said he's gone off the deep end and fears that he is planning something, also adding he's slowly becoming less stable. They were instrumental uh, in letting us know what was happening. Sergeant Matthew Botkin calls it a textbook see something, say something response, which in this case prompted immediate attention. By the very nature of the tip uh, and, and what it was about, uh, we knew that we had to move quickly and we did. Steve Hamaki is in jail right now on three felony weapons charges and a couple of misdemeanors, including willful child cruelty. He's set to be arraigned on Monday. Reporting from downtown, Stephen Luke, NBC7. And neighbors told us Steve Hamaki keeps very much to himself and they don't know much about him. They did say he shares the home with a woman and three children.
do you do with this? What? Look at that. Jams. Boom. Shoots nothing. one mag you pick up another right and you pick up another you're just supposed to keep going on right then you drop it like that you drop the gun pick up another gun you know what what do you do what do you do what do you do, what do, you do? this is what you do boom right within 72 hours the suspect was arrested we spoke with a security expert who says it's important for the public to report disturbing videos and for hotel staff to remain alert for suspicious behavior. Meanwhile, the suspect exclusively told News 8 he didn't want to hurt anyone. One down. More to go. Steve Homoki told News 8 in an exclusive jailhouse interview he never intended to hurt anyone when he made two YouTube videos showing him armed and pointing a gun at people walking below. Obviously, looking back, it does look like if anybody else were to see it, it doesn't look good. Um, but besides that, um, it seems to me they got blown out of proportion. But threat assessment professional Hal Godarzi says the potential for harm is real. And he was uh, practicing or maybe for real it, it was a fantasy that he was playing out the videos show a person surrounded by dozens of bullets and holding at least two assault style weapons police say they found even more at Hamoki's spring valley home the videos are reminiscent of the las vegas shooting that left 58 people dead while Hamoki tells us that wasn't his intention no one ever try to target anybody Gudarzi says it's a reminder for hotel staff to remain alert i don't know the the circumstances but let's assume that he did the same thing as vegas over two or three days, he moved a whole bunch of suitcases into the room. Uh, that's kind of hard to do without someone noticing something unusual. You drop one mag, you pick up another, right? The videos were posted in September. Hamoki says they were sent to private, but at some point were made public. Police praised the anonymous tipster who brought the videos to their attention. If it had uh, come closer together and had not been reported, no telling what could have happened and it very probably saved some lives. Prosecutors will arraign Hamoki tomorrow afternoon, where we expect we'll learn new information about this case.